Alright, I'm back. More, um, Last Epoch. Void Knight. Uh. Um. I'm pretty slow. Playing through the campaign, whatever, blah blah. Um, I think I shouldn't have the coordinators. Probably not have enough mana. That'll probably persist until I find some way to like regain mana or just have tons of it stacked. Like tons of it. I'm about to get Devouring Orb. Devouring Orb actually can give me mana regen. Unlocked it. I just need to use it as use specialization slot. A specialization slot. Level 35 to get another specialization slot, but I kind of think I probably could like drop um, Warpath. Because it looks kind of awkward. I could just use like um yeah, this right here gives me increased mana regen. Deal more. I'd have to activate one and they'll give me more mana. So going all in for that should be fine. So I can go like heavy on um, just racing strike and so. It's not working out how I hoped it would. Stand down or die.
Jesus, Phil. I literally cannot do any justice for like uh, the prime list or the sentinel. Like I just look like a clown playing these classes. These classes are just look goofy compared to the ones. I'm definitely gonna stand by them though because I understand they have a lot of like health benefits. You literally could not you could literally not build health and probably get some good results. Or build like tanky. Gods be with you. All right, um. I'm not using blood cleave anymore. I don't really use. I don't really need to use a sword. I can get away with using like more powerful weapon. Never. I'll probably like um find one. I don't think blood cleave is necessary because I have racing strike. This has a uh, 46 damage. That's pretty much what we want.
If this is a game that has Orban build, I think Orban build, even though it probably isn't like broken like in other games, but I think that's something you could really end up having to use. It's probably kind of weird because in the beginning of the game, it kind of looks every class. And it'll just be really tanky towards the end anyway if you play the Sentinel, like, potentially. So, like, it probably doesn't make sense from the buff of this class. It already probably is more, like, has more survivability towards the end. So, you probably have to find a way to make the game, or the, the, the Sentinel, a little bit stronger, maybe in the beginning, or the middle. Something. Not that this is too weak from person, but I can definitely see people agreeing that it's not good enough compared to other classes. I don't know. Usually when the game comes out, people are kind of okay with how it is, and then people change a lot. They like ruin some of the stuff that was really great. Maybe it isn't good to like tell them that there's a problem like that. It's a little too much to build on mobbing. Like you'll end up crushing the grunts anyway. You really need like a good combo and you know ability to dodge, maneuver, or not have to. Instead. I feel like the, the archer on Diablo 4 is a good example of like how you'd end up having to play a game based on what's happening as you level up. Because it gets to be like basically a constant struggle for survival and trying to stay in position and get in position to actually do enough damage to make it worth it, you know what I'm saying? Like I might end up making a, a rogue for the, um, the new season, season 3, just to play Archer, just to kind of get that, that um, experience. The kind of the same experience you get from playing the Sentinel or Primeless in Last Epoch, or like it's just super... It's a struggle. So the struggle kind of pays off in um, Diablo 4 because you actually could constantly be playing a high level and, you know, do a lot of good damage. After I play this for a little bit, I'm going to definitely go do that. For like a challenge. I think that's like a good example of what people usually mean by start, start, start having to strategize, start having to build. Sometimes people just use the fact that like level 80 Falcon here to like argue people, which is kind of pointless. Like, everyone would admit that level 80 Falcon here is the strongest class in the game. Like we're not gonna argue with you about other things. Like it's pointless. The only reason I can find someone like that would argue is because they're like a bad person or something. Like, why would I be in first place playing another class just to argue with people about things that have nothing to do with that class? That's all that really would matter to them is just winning like that, I'm saying. If I had more mana, I'd probably be strong enough, I'm saying. Now that I kind of look at it. If I just kept smashing a racing strike, I'd be good. Especially with that echo popping off. This guy's still bugged. Like, this is insane. No, I don't think. I mean, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen anyone talk about this. At all. Maybe it's, I'm the only one with this issue. 
Oh my god, I keep missing the racing. racing spray. It's patches to go already. Get him out of here. Stun chance, that's pretty cool. It's a good bit of stun chance. Blessings. So yeah, you get blessings from comp completing those type of things. Including the uh, alternate timelines, the monoliths. Like, I really want to like Sentinel. I really want to like Primalis. Primalis Shaman's fine. Like, Primalis Shaman is top tier. I really want to like the melee characters. I want to like, you know, the, the tough guys. I, I would still like them. I just know that people aren't going to watch me play and fumble around and not do that great and be like, yeah, that's exactly what we mean. That's what they're going to say. They're not even going to agree with the fact that I like it or it could pop off. I got to look at it. It's not, it's not anything. Like sacrificing damage. Sacrificing damage. Um, or sacrificing um, life for damage. You just play different class. I'm saying, like, at this point. You know, as I get to like about an hour, stream for an hour, I'm gonna switch to Diablo. Is there a way to like decrease the mana recover the mana cost? Racing strike hits shreds of resistance, additional charge, void rifts, deal more damage. enemies that'd be pretty good because usually that's how i open a battle is smash with a racing strike that would be great against both enemies so like definitely just erase them that's like a good strategy to help people to do um void knight grab a ruthless and just open up with that i got Strong, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it's like consistent to have no mana, but if I had mana, I'd be good. It's not any way to get, there's not many ways to get mana, you know, I have to like kind of build for that. I have to like kind of hold out for mana. Like, I can get these nail bracers and drop, um, drop this on them and look for some mana, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't get any. Um,. No, I can grab increased area. Whatever, right? That's not that's not the one. But if I ever get another pair or whatever, I can go for mana, just keep going for it. And I'll get like plus fifty mana potentially, right? Dividing orb now rubs at the end uh, of additional void resistance. Dividing orb lasts longer with devouring orbs, void risk no longer increased size. Blue penetration, or is it? Maybe not the Beastmaster, because I actually feel like the Beastmaster isn't that great. Because I have like a level 60 Beastmaster, I'm pretty sure. But, um, I feel like something like this will pop off at late game because eventually you have all your passives and your echoes will kind of make up for a lot of like the luck based things. Especially like in a monolith, like if you be fighting too many enemies, you'll end up hitting, you'll end up hitting uh, with the echoes. Jesus, bro. It's like trying to be a lawyer for someone who's covered in blood. Like, yeah, but you keep talking about the Sentinel and the Primalist. Like, bro, oh, these guys are, are garbage. Like, I like them. I, I don't think they're garbage, but I definitely can see the, the proof. I'd appreciate if people refrain from calling them garbage. <laughs> I'm 
don't know if I'm gonna go mace or sword. I probably should go mace or sword. Which is kind of tough because you're split between mace or axe or something, you know, for certain a certain passive. This could be good um, if I use time and faith and then went with something like like that could be pretty basically almost a necessity. Instead of going like Warpath, I can go like some other ability. Like I could even get off of using a Devouring Orb. I can drop Devouring Orb. I could drop um, Warpath. But I can go like rive or something right like does rive have dark rive deals more void damage and your chance to echo with rive is doubled i know rive had echoes bonus triple for echoes so yeah i'll probably go for this because i can benefit from it I will use Rive in one of these. Rive. We'll just get that pretty quick. Oh, I actually can get it now. And then I'll probably go like... Uh, I don't really need anything else right now. Just let go, let go, um, like I wouldn't really use Abyssal Echo right now. I don't think I need to. So maybe I'll go like Lunge or something. I don't know. I shouldn't even respect, um, I shouldn't even respect any of this. Just use Rive and that should be good. And then I'll probably go back to Devouring Orb and just toss in the mana regen. Like, I'm not going to keep crying about Sentinel, I'm just gonna enjoy it and people are gonna be like, it sucks. And this also doesn't use any mana, so... I'm just using Drive to gain mana so I can use... this... Racing Blow. As much as I want to, basically. So I can kind of eliminate... Um, I can kind of use Racing Strike as my build. Like my, my mate, that's like everything centered around Racing Strike. And probably should be, like what else am I going to do for damage? Once I level up Racing Strike, I'll just grab, um... Racing Strike. I'll grab, a. Uh, Time loop, and then once I get time loop, um, time loop, and merciful. There was something that gave me an extra charge for that. Extra charge. I think there was. I'll just grab Time Loop and uh, Merciful. Rex right here, Racing Track has no cooldown. So yeah, I'll grab Time Loop and Shattered Continuum and just combo that with Rive and that'll be my build. That's what I'm going to do. And then you'll see once my build's complete. At level like 35 at least. The very least. <laughs> earliest convenience um, I'll be able to uh, acquire 
like functional builds like start just running to the game and not and not being compared to the prime list because you know start comparing it to other classes that people will be or um you know the the king of Capture this build complete. That made sense. No viable. Big viable. I'm actually getting echoes from Rive, so that kind of makes it a little more currently a little more valuable than a racing strike. I just gotta use my build to make the game good, to make the Sentinel good. Sentinel is something that'll take all your excitement, because that's what I have for Sentinel, and you know all that, and throw it and turn it into um, profit. <laughs> Let's say you're excited for a new game to come out, becomes profit, and start making money off it. Stand down or die. Echoes on River is kind of nice. Is nice. Like that's pretty, basically, I would say overpowered. If you just keep spamming it and you keep rocking uh, echoes, like it's gonna get overpowered. Echoes are overpowered. We just need a way to uh, utilize them. Might as well use a lunge. Give me some mobility. Welcome, traveler. Welcome, traveler.
cup of time. Sometimes soon you'll just see me spamming Rive to gain mana and take eating all up using a racing strike. This is like when someone takes all of your hopes and dreams and turns it into a fun. First money then fun. All my hopes and dreams were in that sentinel. I turned it all into money and fun. And they laughed. They said it was a horrible class. It's a worker man's class. Tanking is going to be very useful now because I need to be able to get up close to use Rive and just gain my health back and mana. There are a lot of void enemies in this game, but I don't know if there's that many where like I'm going to be needing resistance, but I'll probably have it anyway just because what this comes with. Games attack definitely are more responsive and are more accurate, easier to aim than um, Diablo and um, PoE. Like usually, I feel like I miss a lot. Like basically, do it's also hard to move. This game has a much bigger. You know, everything's larger in this game. Like it's not really wor worried about penalizing you for missing like by an inch. It's newer anyway, I'm saying it's a little bit newer, so it's much smoother.
strength. And just go strength. Something like uh, my Forge Knight would be good because I have a lot of fire damage there. I'm shooting with like 40 minutes, so give me like a couple more. Um, just like a few more minutes. I need to like use some snacks or something, use some lasagna or something. It's about to pop off. I grab a couple of uh, these time loops. I grab a couple time loops. One should be good. And I'll just be like blowing through an elite. Most of the time, I will spend the mana to uh, twice. And once that is what I'm always doing, what I can basically utilize, I should be fine. probably go with a lunge build. I'll probably start using lunge because being able to get to them quick with my, uh, you know, with my rive would be great to combo with lunge. This is a different build. I've never thought of using this, but I have to for mana and getting around quickly. I need to just go cool down for now. I'm not doing this for damage. sweet really sweet um because they're gonna give me more mana i'm saying tax reach should be good um damage pool should be good Fusion will cost mana, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'll just keep pumping, uh, I'll pump one more into time and faith. Should kind of negate the cost entirely.
All right, now we're talking. We're getting somewhere. Endurance threshold of regeneration. Level of devouring orb. Something like Diablo has better builds. I feel like comparing them because they all have aspects that the other one should have. For better builds, like you'll get some gear and it'll be way more beneficial to you than um, this gear in this game. I'm saying, like, you can get some stuff, but it's very rare. Like, you can always have some good gear. Like, gear is way more impactful in uh, Diablo. More so to, like, um, a crazy benefit and not like a necessity like this the gear in this is like a necessity but in Diablo you can get some gear that like carries you through the game you know what I'm saying like you don't even have to really play that well anymore like you get that good gear Kind of go back to playing how I normally would play an ARPG, where like I would attack and dodge and not sacrifice to tank. Like I was always, I was, I was talking about this, I guess like almost a couple weeks ago at this point. How about, about how like this game changed the way I played because I had to sacrifice health to be effective. And go for more of like, you know, tanking. Like that looks implemented in. Like I got to tank stuff. Like it's not like I would be able to dodge in position. Like this is most. This kind of eliminate that. Like you have to tank a little bit. But having the echo, I can usually just dodge and not have to tank at all. You know what I'm saying like I can just dodge. Like that's something I would start doing on. Um, like a marksman, the way I play marksman, when I play Diablo 4, like that's what I would end up doing. Implementing tanking to like it because you'd have to take some damage purposely to uh, just have an opening or just have an opportunity to attack, period. Like that, that, this erase track can echo up to like two times. It's pretty devastating. Yeah, that was it. It just went three times. That's pretty good. I just use Rive to gain my mana back. It's not a big deal anymore.
It's almost like Diablo gameplay. Resource generator. Generator then uh, spam. Core ability. Like which can be pretty um, frustrating. Especially like on a Barbarian. That can be very frustrating. They definitely have to learn from other games and you know whether whether they add the function another game has you can still learn how to play like so i gotta build a lot more tanky on a barbarian probably do enough damage at some point you have to really rely on your gear probably do more damage i think i'm gonna try to build a more tanky barbarian just don't have to worry about like you know like being around the enemy trying to gain some generator i don't even have a barbarian or an, an archer for this season. I thought I, I thought I had a, an archer. I could have swore I did, but I don't. So it's gonna be um. It's gonna be a task to uh, get both of those made and played. That's why I don't like seasons. Like seasons kind of make it right to play a billion characters, a billion times. It's like such an extent. You know I don't have to make a seasonal character. I have other characters I could probably just play on for a little bit. I do want to finish at least one character on the season or for the season. Time to learn is now. Get to the railing and give a signal when you're ready. It is a wonder I didn't drown in my armor. Took to take a much longer release certain content in this game. We're like, we need those uh, it seems problem is, cosmetics. She's deep in yes. I'll hang back and cover our tracks. 
I'll only slow you down. Please, go on without me. Like you have all these potentials for like, um, you know, you have like augments, you know what I'm saying? You know, have some capes. You know, even like, um, ability cosmetics. Like, yeah, they're not even out yet. I think I'm gonna stop now. I'm at a good point to stop. I had to do spread around today. Still kind of sleepy, I guess. Stand down. some lasagna to eat. I'll be back later today, later tonight, to play Diablo again. Alright.